Hey guys, what's up? It's Gloria from G31 Fitness, and I am doing a fitness, mainly nutrition haul with you guys. Um, I've never done one of these before, but I've been getting asked a lot by the women that are around me, um, especially since I just had my baby and I'm four months postpartum, um, kind of like what I'm doing to drop weight. And I'm going to be showing you guys pretty much like what I'm consuming day to day um, that's pretty nutritious, I think. This sounds a little bit loud in the background because we have a fountain back there, but I am outside because I'm kind of escaping my kids <laughs> so that my five-year-old doesn't ask me like a crap load of questions while I'm trying to do this quickly for y'all. So first thing I want to show you is this. It's a Garden of Life Sport Organic Blazed um, Plant Protein Powder. So I know some of you know that I used Garden of Life before. I used the meal replacement previously, and the meal replacement was really good. I used that after I had my son, but I'm not looking for a meal replacement this time. I feel like I'm in better shape, if I can say that, <laughs> um, after this pregnancy, which is kind of weird. Um, I'm not, I'm, I'm already eating clean, I would say, and I'm doing such like high weightlifting and cardio on a weekly basis from training, like teaching, that I just needed something to help me build my muscle more as I'm leaning out. So this particular brand, it's new. My husband actually pointed it out to me. He is into wanting recently to um, work out and trying to build some muscle himself. And he was like, hey babe, like look at this sport brand. He got the vanilla um, flavor. It's 30 grams plant protein, 5.5 BCAAs, which is good to help with your endurance um, and muscle building. Um, it's two billion probiotics inside. It's a pre-workout, post-workout. Um, what I really liked about it, I love that it has organic turmeric. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right. It might be turmeric or turmeric, and I'm gonna say that <laughs> probably like 500 times in this video because I use it a lot. But it has the organic turmeric, um, organic tart cherries, and antioxidants. So I love that it's it has those those things that help with inflammation. Um, again, this is the Garden of Life Sport, and how I use it, I sometimes well for the first time this past week, I actually put it inside of my um, like a whole grain pancake. I'm gonna be honest with you, I did not like it whatsoever. Um, you know, it was a good try, but I'll probably just keep drinking it in like a smoothie form or like mixed with water. I do do it in a smoothie form, and that leads me to my next thing. I actually, I use this. I have a Costco card. Um, it's an organic antioxidant blend. Obviously, you see like it's definitely been used. I have like just like a little bit left in the bottom. It has strawberries, dark cherries, blueberries, raspberries, and pomegranate juice infused cranberries. Um, basically what I do is I get like a cup or, I don't measure. <laughs> I get that from my mom. Um, I don't do like a cup or two cups, I'm not sure. I just kind of drizzle it in the blender until I think it looks good. Um, I do like a handful of either like your dark green, um, leafy green. So that's like your kale or your um, chard or spinach. 9 out of 10, I, I have a mix that I get from Costco that has like all three of them, but mainly I probably, I would say I do the spinach. Um, so I do this, I do spinach, I'll do like a cup or two, um, like the scoops of this protein powder. And then I also throw in some organic chia seeds. And I know it's a lot of stuff, right? Um, <laughs> organic flax seed. So all of these things and their benefits, I I like to use a lot of my um, a lot of my like seeds, nuts, and like herbs, everything that can help with inflammation and lowering blood pressure. After having my son um, five years ago, I actually I ended up getting preeclampsia, which left me with borderline high blood pressure. So it's something that I have to watch, and I just make sure during like all of my um, my meal times that I try to take things that's going to help lower that. Um, so the chia seeds actually helps with lowering blood pressure. Um, and I want to say it, they actually even expand a little bit to make you feel fuller longer. So these little, little tiny things, little seeds, that they expand when you consume them in your belly. So they make you feel fuller longer. Um, flat seed, obviously, it's high in fiber. Um, and that's pretty much it. I am going to try the chocolate. I actually have this with me. It's the Garden of Life. Same thing as a vanilla. I used to be a vanilla girl, like vanilla cake, vanilla shakes, all that. Now my palate has changed and I'm pretty much like chocolate, <laughs> like chocolate anything. Vanilla is like straight still, like don't get me wrong, but I have a feeling I'm gonna like the chocolate powder better. So if I end up liking that better, I'll probably go and get this. Other thing is that this is like $43, I wanna say, and I got it at Nutrismart. You might be able to get it cheaper at Sprouts, um, or 
I'm going to do Amazon, but go, go to the store and get the actual thing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try the chocolate one. While I said turmeric, turmeric, whatever, this is turmeric root, right? A lot of women I know, like especially at the gym that I, um, I teach at, Low Fitness Boutique, they're like, yeah, yeah, I put turmeric powder inside of like different drinks and stuff. I do the root. I don't know why I feel like it's fresher. Um, I, pay, I buy this on a weekly basis. I make it in teas, so I do this with ginger root. If you look at the benefits like on Google or um, Pinterest, whatever, go on there, type in like turmeric and ginger and beets actually, benefits, and you're gonna find these three herbs, spices, whatever you wanna call them, roots. They're like miracle roots in your diet. <laughs> if you do it consistently, that's the key. You're not gonna, like if you just do like ginger here and there or your turmeric here and there, it's not, you're not going to get the full benefits as if you're doing it like consistently with a clean diet. These two roots along with beets um, really help with inflammation. Turmeric is really good like if you struggle with arthritis or joint, like I know I'm pushing my 30s, I'm about to be 30 in December, um, and I've been noticing, I'm sure a lot of it is attributed to me working out, weightlifting, all that kind of stuff, but getting up at 2 a.m. to like feed my daughter, I'm like, you know, like <laughs> struggling as I'm going to the kitchen to get the bottle. Um, Anyhow, this really helps with joint relief. This ginger is mainly known probably for nausea, like helping upset stomach and stuff like that, but there's a ton of other benefits. Both of them act as an um, antibacterial, um, anti-rival, uh, viral. <laughs> I just dropped it. Um, so, yeah, that's that with these two things. I definitely add it daily. What I do is I cut it up and or I grate it, and I put it inside of hot boiling water, and I make teas out of it. It doesn't taste good. I'm going to be straight up with you. This has a little spice to it. This is just nasty, <laughs> like honestly. But um, I do it and I just know it's, sometimes you have to think it's not about pleasure. And I know this is like going contrary to like the American dream, right, American society. I don't eat for pleasure all the time, but to feel my body and what it means. So sometimes you just need to switch that mindset and like, you know, you know what, like would I rather do this or be on medication for the rest of my life once I hit 50? Like, let's just be real. So, these roots, add them into your diet, a staple, they, all of them actually add in weight loss too, um, aid in weight loss, not add. Um, my apple cider vinegar, this also helps with weight loss, um, but it has a ton of other benefits as well. I do like two capfuls of this, this is another thing that is highly flippin' disgusting. I have my husband doing it, <laughs> which I don't even know how. Um, but he's gotten into eating like a cleaner type diet. Definitely not on the same board as me, but he's definitely been a lot cleaner um, the past like year. And when he's when he does like really bad one week, he's like, oh man, I need my apple cider vinegar shot. Um, I don't do it in teeth. I know there's some women that do like two two capfuls and they put it in water, like hot water with like honey and lemon. I think it's so nasty that I just rather drink it straight and that's it, like get it over with. So I do do this on a daily basis again. Consistency is key with all of this stuff. Like if you're trying to lose weight or if you're in that stage of like trying to lean out or whatever the case is, wherever you're at in your fitness journey, apple cider vinegar is a really, really, really good thing. Again, turmeric, ginger, all the stuff like um, that I'm mentioning. Um, this bad girl. It's cold. I keep this refrigerated. It is farmhouse, I don't know what I just said, farmhouse culture, ginger beet, gut shots and it's organic. Um, it's a, basically a probiotic and what that's going to do is going to help the good bacteria stay in your system and that is good for everything. Like honestly, like if you have a good gut, like good bacteria going on in your gut, it's going to help mood, it helps fight against anxiety and depression and a whole bunch of other um, goodies. So I get this at Nutrismart as well. That's just close to me. I live out um, actually in Wesley Chapel so it's just I go to the nearest store <laughs> sometimes over uh, I probably shouldn't say this, my husband will kill me, but um, I try to find the cheaper thing, but sometimes it's just time and I have a little new baby, so closest thing sometimes over um, overpriced. So this is probably about six bucks from Nutrismart. Again, that's the um, protein powder is about 43. Um, apple cider vinegar, you can get that at like Publix or something. Um, I think this bag of the antioxidant blend at Costco is about like, 13, I want to say, and it lasts me a pretty long time. Um, let me go on to this. So this is your Omega-3 from Flax Oil. This I use before I eat anything. That's another thing I should say. Like Before I eat anything for breakfast, as soon as I wake up, your body has been fasting the whole night. 
I pretty much do the gut shot. I do my apple cider vinegar. I also do this. Um, it is the flavor of strawberry banana smoothie. I sometimes add this as well into my smoothies, like when I'm doing like a protein powder or whatever. Um, it's really good for joint relief. It's really good for um, heart, heart healthy. Omega-3s is really good for your heart. Um, so I add this in to, and it also helps lower blood pressure, cholesterol, a whole bunch of stuff. And it tastes really good actually. Um, let me see. Okay, Costco again a lunch go-to of mine. So I kind of follow a Mediterranean style diet. There's a nutritionist where I work flow fitness and her name is Shauna, shout out to Shauna. She kind of got me onto, I don't do keto, I don't do whole foods, I don't do anything like that. I just eat a clean diet 80% um, of the time. <laughs> but that being said, I like to do fish three times a week and salmon, um, wild caught, you always want to look for the wild caught fish because that's just better for you. But I have, this is the Pacific Salmon Burgers. They are so flipping good. Um, it is, it has your omega-3s, obviously fish has omega-3s, um, 170 calories, and it has 20 grams of protein in it. And what I do, I don't make it in a burger, like I don't have the actual like bun with it, but I do, there is a sauce at Publix. It's a Cajun style sauce. My husband's Cajun, he likes his spicy stuff, and I've grown a taste for spice. Um, which cayenne and all that kind of stuff actually helps burn more calories in your diet. It helps with aids and weight loss. But I get this sauce. I cook this on the pan for like, I don't know, six minutes each side. And I do sweet potato on the side. And it is so good, so yummy. I feel like I've eaten like a really good like meal. Three times a week I do this. Um, Costco, like 16 bucks. And they last a while. My whole family eats them. So, let's see. While I'm at it, this ice cream, Rebel brand. <laughs> what do I say? Okay, my girlfriend, she is a keto queen, Nikki. She, I was at her house and she was like, hey girl, like you should try this. And I'm like, oh, okay, you know, like I'll go to the store and check this out. It says no sugar added, it's high fat and low carb, everything you would actually want, right? Seven grams of carbs. And it's cookie dough. I love anything cookie dough. You know me, you know your girl likes cookie dough. I don't like this. <laughs> Sorry, Nikki. I just don't like this. I like Halo Top. And honestly, probably Halo Top has more sugar. That's my downfall. If you would ask me, like, what what keeps you from reaching your goals as far as like weight loss or getting where you need to be as far as leaning out? I like sugar. <laughs> and that is that's really bad actually. Like having a ton of sugar is not good for you. It causes the inflammation and all the bad stuff. But that would I would say that's definitely my weakness. And I think maybe the Halo Top might be sugarier, like the cookie dough Halo Top. Um, either way, like if you were to look in here, it's I've definitely like I've eaten it because I bought it. I won't buy it again. That's my review on Little Rebel. I would say check it out. Buy Halo Top cookie dough, buy Rebel cookie dough, and see which one you like better. Not for me. <laughs> um, while we're on the sweet stuff, and obviously like this has already been opened, but Lily's chocolate. It's dark chocolate. Dark chocolate's good for your heart. I know a lot of people don't like dark chocolate, but this is a salted almond kind. I do this, I kind of break this up into pieces and I make my own trail mix bags. And I guess I really probably could buy like the little chocolate chips, but I don't know if I'm making my life harder and I'm chopping this up. And I put it inside of almonds, pecans, um, I put like dried cranberries in it, and it's really yummy. So when I have like my little sweet tooth where I'm like, oh crap, I feel like I'm going to eat like cake or whatever. I'm not really like an ice cream, ice cream person, but I like like doughy, carby sweets. Sucks. But this is really good. Let's see here. This oatmeal. I actually just opened it. And I got it on sale. You see that? Two fifty for all y'all non-hood people. That is two fifty. Um, it's strawberry shortcake. Something I actually got this for my son. So he, my son has something called mastocytoma. His body basically creates too much histamine. Um, so he has like a little um, mast cell tumor that actually pops up and down on his skin. Um, I'm gonna do a whole video on like what I do for him and like a low histamine diet and like a clean, fun diet for children. This is something that I got him. This has flax, chia, quinoa, and Lord help me. Um, 
Amaran, Amaran, Am. <laughs> Help me. I don't know. Turmeric in this. I'm just kind of jacking up the names. But 34 grams of whole grain, and it has fiber. Um, it's 11 grams of sugar, which basically, if you look at any um, oatmeal that's boxed like this, it has a pretty much, I think, like 11 grams of sugar. Um, you just have to be careful with that. I'm testing it out just because it has the flax and the quinoa. I'm just trying to get him used to that taste as I introduce other foods to him at home with like different uh, like dinners and lunches and stuff. So tried it last night. Honestly, he didn't like it, so I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna eat it myself. But I did get this from NutriSmart as well. Um, I think that's about it. I have to say, as I'm doing all this stuff, I do do intermittent fasting. Um, this isn't obviously like a you know, breakfast I do this, lunch I do this, you know, dinner I do this. This is just like what I basically consume pretty much on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, my turmeric, my ginger, I do beets a lot. Like this, the gut shot has a beet inside of it. I like fresh beets. I'll do it with like some eggs fried up or something and I have like my beets and like some nuts or whatever. Um, if you guys have any questions on these things, go ahead and just like comment and I will be happy to answer any questions on this stuff, prices. Um, again, this is, I'm sorry for the sound, I think it's pretty loud back there with the fountain, but next video that I do will probably be at another location, probably in my house, so that it's not as loud. I will be doing another video, probably of my son, like what I'm going to do like, as far as like clean eating for my son, as well as a clothing haul, workout haul, um, where I work, we sell Zaya, which is a um, higher end workout clothes, but without the price tag, so that's really cool. I'm going to be getting some new workout clothes soon. I've been waiting to hit probably like six months postpartum before I start getting my new workout clothes as I'm dropping weight. But hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope it was informative. And I'm done.